thank you everybody for coming. Present this afternoon, Natasha Yakovlev and Helen Kahn. And so everybody knows this Zoom meeting is being recorded. Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, we can move on to uh, agenda item number three, review and approval of the following applications for extension of premises onto public spaces for Sangtawan Incorporated DBA Tai Tai at 84 Pleasant Street. And we do have a representative here, I think. Yeah, Kanita. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good. Hi. Could you state your name for the record? Uh, my name is Kanita Le Sang Zemsai. Thank you for coming. Can you walk us through your application, please? Yeah, I would like to extend the outdoor dining area because of the limited the inside dining. Mm -hmm. So I would like to put some uh, put a tent next to the building and put six tables with four chairs on them, and then two more tables in front of the restaurant with two chairs with umbrellas. Great. And does do who owns that alleyway? Uh I think Eric the the property yeah, because pro he owned the building next to uh, our building too. Mm -hmm. Has Eric given permission for the use of the alleyway? I haven't um contacted him yet, but I just want to see if the town allow me to do that, and I will contact him too. Annie, if I'm not mis correct me if I'm mistaken, but we'll need per in order to consider that we'll need to know if Eric, the property owner, would allow it to happen. So yeah. we can't approve the plans, which look great. We can't approve them until we have something in writing from the person who owns that property. Yeah, I guess for some reason I thought it was a city alley. But, but yeah, if Eric owns it, we'll need a letter from him giving permission for you to use that for you to use the alley. Okay, yeah, then I will contact him. Okay. Annie, do they have um, already have an outdoor seating permit, or can we approve their two outdoor tables in the front? They do not already have one. Okay, so building department would need to do what they've been doing by going over and measuring. Right. So yeah, so the two in front are are public spaces. So those are covered under the application that that she's already submitted. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a way to get in contact with Eric? I don't know. I try to contact him, but he never responds at all since yeah. the since be closed the uh, inside dining. I contact him many times and he would never respond. That's usually the case. Um, I can I can try to email him um, my plan and uh, the floor plan to see if he want to respond to the email. Yeah. Um, I mean, Alan. What if she can't get? What if she can't get a hold? Because he's notorious for not being responsive. Are there any other restaurants adjacent to to this space? No. Um, I think she should try, and, and you know, and show us some proof that she's attempted to reach out and hasn't had a response. I think we shouldn't uh, presume that he's going to give permission because it's not exclusive, exclusively her space. Yeah. So <clears throat> I do okay, think we I need will, to get something from Eric. Yeah, I will email him right now, the plan, and see what he responds or not. And I will, I will also text him that I email him with that plan too. So I don't know when the uh, commission is meeting next, but we can certainly get it on the next agenda um, because we need something from him. Yeah, and we can't do a contingent on on receiving permission. I, I, I would advise against having 
uh, approvals out there that are just, you know, not may not be used um, right. or have the contingencies on whether they can or can't be used. That was kind of the rule we had in the public space. And I think it ought to be, I would advise the same thing in the private spaces. Okay. Um, so can we approve though the sidewalk, but that would also be contingent on, I guess, seeing that there's ADA access still. I don't know how wide that sidewalk is. I know that John was out there to look at the alley, correct? I believe, yes. Because um, there were emails back and forth today with you and John, and he said, you know, as far as he's concerned, you know, there's there's one possible wrinkle, but it should be able to be worked out. Yeah, it sounded to me like it was approvable in the alley, but I but I didn't see any reference to him inspecting uh, and measuring off the uh, the front tables. And the front tables are only um, two chairs per table. Is that right? Can you yes. 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 I drove by it. It looks like there's plenty of room, but I mean, what do I know? So. <clears throat> it looks like there's like four feet on. It does. I mean, I was driving, but it does. Is is John from the building department? He's the new building yeah, commissioner. Yeah, he's new Louie. So if he went out, I mean, I think it's a reasonable assumption that he would have looked at everything that's included in the plan that she provided. Yeah, I mean, I asked if, I asked him to verify if the code plan was going to work because the license commission was meeting this afternoon. He said, yes, I believe it will work. The only rub may be the location of tables at the open ends of the tent for egress and accessible path of travel. Either way, they can make it work. I would think he would have also looked at the sidewalk, but I don't know him, so I don't know. So the, the let me just say the title of the email chain is Tai Tai Tent and Alley Plans. Okay. So does that mean our hands are tied? We can't even approve the, the two up front? I don't know whether he did any measurements there. I just don't know. Yeah. I'm going to try and call him because I don't want to just not, I just don't want to assume.
Okay. Um, so they hadn't, they hadn't, che they haven't checked out the tables um, out front because when they went, they weren't set up yet. But he said, according to the plan, it looks like it will work. Um, he also said, Anita, have you had ever had tables outside before? No. Okay, maybe he is inviting something else because he said that there were three tables out front before and you had not two. I'm, I'm having trouble hearing you, Annie. I don't know if that's just me or. Oh, really? Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. I think it's the speaker on this computer. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so d what, was there anything we missed or all of it? Uh, yeah, I missed uh, pretty much all of it. Well, you asked about the tables out front and then I didn't hear what you said after that. So they didn't, they didn't look at the tables out front because when they went to look at the alley, the tables weren't set up yet. Right. According to the plan, they believe it's going to, he believes it's going to work. Um, okay. And then he he had said that there were already three tables set up there previously to previous to COVID, and they had just knocked it down to two. So he said, it, it, obviously, it it'll work because they are already set up there. But I I have no knowledge of you having outdoor dining before. No, we just uh put like maybe three to four days that we put two small tables with two chairs on the sidewalks. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, I don't really know what he's talking about for that, but he's, he said, according to the plan, he thinks it's going to work. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that's enough or he also said he, he also said he could send Louie out right now. But I, mean, I don't want to wait on this meeting while Louie goes out there and does that. Yeah. So is that an Alan question about whether we can approve it on that information or approve the two tables? Um, if, if the inspector thinks it'll work, I, I'm okay with it. Okay. Annie, do you have anything to add? Um, so I did. So I did see the tables out front. The only thing I didn't see was a barrier. Um, so you'll you'll need to um, delineate the area so to prevent access from people maybe walking in or out of the area. So you'll need to add ropes or planters or something to make to contain the area. Yeah, because they plan to put um, maybe fake plant or or real plant outside too. Okay, I mean you can do that as long as the whole thing is contained, like cordoned off. So you'll have to maybe add ropes in between. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So right now, just for the two tables at the front, and I have to uh, wait to hear back from Eric for the alley. Yes. Right, okay. Um, so um, it sounds like the commission's gonna approve it and once they do, you'll need to set up the, the area. I think the tables are already out there, but you'll need to add the ropes and then you'll need to get a, an inspection from the building de department before you can start operating out there. Okay. Okay. Great. Helen, do you want to make a motion? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for extension of premises onto public spaces um, for the two tables right out front on the sidewalk for um, Sang Tawan Inc. DBA Tai Tai at 84 Pleasant Street. Thank I you. second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. So, Kanita, once you reach out to Eric, if you could um, maybe just forward me the email or the conversation you have with him. Okay. And then let me know once he's, if he responds. Okay. And okay. then once you've had an inspection by the building department, they'll let me know and I'll send you your license. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I hope you can reach Eric. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It'll look great. Thanks. <laughs>
Okay, next up, item number four, request approval of seasonal liquor license renewals pending receipt of all appropriate documents. Natasha? Well, yes. Can I interrupt just, do you need me for the rest of this? I don't think we do. Andy, do we need Alan? No. Can, can I just convey a message from the health director uh, from our, our morning COVID operations meeting? She's hearing that there is some, that there's music being provided, live or DJ music, not permitted. And so it might be a good idea just to shoot a note to all of your licensees to remind them that they may not present live or DJ music in their rest in their licensed premises. It's Did become an issue across the state and uh, okay. you know, pre-recorded kind of background music is fine, but uh, you know, they, there's no live entertainment allowed yet. Okay. Um, did she did she have a specific establishment? I I didn't ask her, but uh, she, I didn't ask her whether there was a particular establishment. I could certainly do that. I but, mean, I know uh, of one that I talked to her about, but I didn't know if there was any others. Uh, maybe the same one. I don't okay. know. Okay. So. I have a question before you leave, Alan. Um, sure. So for the establishments that already had outdoor seating pre-COVID, mm -hmm. who resumed their outdoor dining during COVID, mm -hmm. were they inspected by yes. the building department? They were, okay. Yes, everyone had to file a plan. Everybody had to be inspected. Okay, because there's yeah. been kerfuffle yeah. on Facebook about some stuff, so, but that's good to know. Yep. Excellent. Bye all. Bye, Bye all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <clears throat> Okay, so back to item number four, request approval of seasonal liquor license renewals pending receipt of all appropriate documents for Hampshire Franklin and Hamden Agricultural Society Beer Hall, Hampshire Franklin, Franklin and Hamden Agricultural Society Infield, Florence Pie Bar, Sanguiton Incorporated DBA Tai Tai, and the Frank Newhall Look Memorial Park Incorporated DBI, DBA Payne Pines Theater. And Annie, if you don't mind, can we do Tai Tai first so she doesn't have to stick around? Yeah, I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't really have to be here. Um, okay. I was hoping you could just bulk renew them as, oh. we've, done, as we've done in the past. Okay. Um, and I'm sorry, I, sh I copied um, number four from last year's agenda. Um, so pending receipt of all appropriate documents shouldn't be there because I have all appropriate documents. So oh, okay, great. Everyone has renewed, everyone submitted the appropriate paperwork, and everyone's good to go. Okay. So I can just make a motion for the item? Yeah. Okay. Um, I make a motion to approve the request for seasonal liquor license renewals for the um, establishments as outlined in agenda item number four. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks. Item number five, housekeeping, seasonal renewal certification. Yes, so I need your signatures on the yeah. on the certification for so I can send it to the ABCC. Um, so I can I can when I go into the office next I can use your stamps, but I just need you to approve the um, certification. And it's it just says that um, it it has me list who the um, who failed to renew or who was disapproved, and it's nobody. So, okay. So, so it'll be a blank form with your signatures on it. And I can send okay. you a, a copy once okay. I um once I stamp your signatures. Okay, that's easy. Mm -hmm. Item six, 2020 renewal updates. Uh, I just wanted to just wrap up the conversation because I know our last like regular meeting, there was a bunch of people that hadn't renewed yet. Um, and I went to the office the other day and I had a few, I had a few checks there. So everyone has actually renewed um, finally. So we're good to go there. That's really it. I just wanted you to know in case you were dying to know. <laughs> <laughs> that last meeting, whenever it was, has really been on my mind. Right. Yeah. I think I'm to sleep well. <laughs> yeah, <finally. laughs> Thank you, Annie. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I guess 
new business. I just, I think I forgot to put it on the schedule. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not, I'm not on my game lately, but um, I think just, we just need to talk about a next meeting. And since now the mayor lifted the, the ban on all board and committee meetings, now that we can meet, um, I think we should probably hold like a regular meeting because I have, I think I have two applications. One is an ABC application and one is a car dealer transfer. And I've been holding them until we were allowed to hold meetings. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I don't think we need one on July 1st, which is when our regular Wednesday at 4 p.m. meeting would be. Um, Do we expect any more applications? For I honestly haven't heard anything. Maybe Amy has, um, but for liquor, I haven't. I know um, Haymarket, I think the next batch will be whenever the rest of Main Street, whatever the outdoor dining situation is going to be. Yeah, happens. I got an application for Haymarket, but they don't have a liquor license, so they don't need to come to a meeting. Okay. And I um, thought, oh, and um, depending on how the roost shakes out, nourish, but that's also not a liquor license issue, so. Yeah, actually, I have some info on that, Amy. I talked to the roost for the longest time this morning. Okay. So we can, I can call you after this. Okay. Um, and uh, again, Dobra, but not a liquor license one. Dobra, I have not that. Ready yet. Yeah. Doesn't Roost have beer and wine? Yes. Okay. Um, That's fine. Yeah. You just, me that is, you're not at liberty to say? No, it's not that. <laughs> What's going on with the Roost? No, I guess, I guess we can. Um, do we want to have this as the public meeting or do you want to just talk about we, it later? No, I think it's fine. Okay. Um, so they're not going to operate on the spots, on the spaces that were given to them by the city on Market Street. Um, they don't, they don't want those spots. So we can give them to nourish. Um, so they want, they want tables and chairs, like abutting the roofs on the Bridge Street side. And also, um, I guess part of Tool, which is uh, the uh, consultants, the consultant we used to create the outdoor dining area, I guess part of their original plan, they had a small space in front of the roost um, that they could extend out into the, the road and they could put two tables and chairs there. Um, so it would start basically from the end of Roost building, like next to Pops, and then go up into the sidewalk. Um, and <clears throat> okay, I think you lost me, but that's all right. In the street and up into the sidewalk, or in the parking lot yeah. and onto the sidewalk. Hold on, I'm trying to find the the original the plan. I can show you. Um, it will make more sense. When Wayne talks, he says east, west, south, and I just I don't I can't get I can't get on board with that. Main <laughs> east, west. That's a good starting point. <laughs> I was with you with the pops pops directional <laughs> reference, but right, right. Uh, Sorry guys, there's so many emails. I just yeah. And I didn't need to, to you know. No, I mean you guys should know. Not, I mean, they have a liquor license. Or, oh. Yeah. Uh, and there's all these threads, and they get lost in the threads. So is the 
basic story that the consulting firm put together or delineated some areas that Roost is not interested in or they want to change what they've delineated? It was the original plan and we didn't go with that one, but since since Tool thought it could work, Wayne was okay with 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 putting that little area there. And since they're making Market Street a one way tonight and oh, that's so exciting. And they're dropping another barrier in front of familiars because familiars wants two parking spaces out in front of there. Um, they just want to do everything in one swoop because they have to, <clears throat> excuse me, have a police detail. So basically the roost is kind of under like, like we need to know if they want it or they don't. Um, and so, and this Market Street's going one way off of, from Main Street? From North. Bridge, yes. <laughs> or sorry, from Bridge. Yes, which is, I'm just thinking of that as all Main Street. But only so, till just past Joe's, right? Like a like, like to a where you're going or one of those one of those side streets just past Joe's. Not okay, sure, I but. found it. I found it. I found it. All right, let me share my screen with you. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this was the original plan. And so uh, right here from the end of roost, they would drop like a diagonal ba barrier here and go all the way up here into the crosswalk and stop it there. So they would have like this little area. That's actually the roots. Is that a problem? <laughs> right, I noticed that. It's a totally different place. <laughs> so, because, and we we also talked about going the whole way, but no one really liked that idea. Also, because the fire, it it just it's yeah. just dangerous. And yeah, I don't. They didn't know if a ladder truck could get through there if needed. So, so she didn't know if, she, but. If the tables on the in the chairs on the sidewalk aren't gonna work, aren't gonna fit, then she doesn't want this in the street. So she is. I told her she needed to have a plan submitted to the building department today to see whether or not the tables and chairs on the sidewalk could work. Because if they will, then we'll put the barrier down in the street for them to have that area too. But if it's not, we're not gonna, not gonna do that at all. And if that's not gonna work, then they're not gonna. They don't, they, they don't have any other options because they don't want the two spaces that were allotted to them, like these two right here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, if the, if the sidewalk tables at Nourish have worked in the past, I think the roost should work. I think the sidewalk is certainly not smaller. I think it's, if anything, it's wider at the roost than Nourish. She said about 11 years ago, they tried to put tables and chairs out there and they got approved. But then when they went to put up a barrier for the liquor license, it didn't work because it took away, it added like more space and took away more sidewalk space. Um, but I said, I, I didn't know like what kind of barriers were you using? Cause like, a, I mean, a this like expansion doesn't do ropes up. or whatever those don't take up much space so she yeah it was a challenging conversation sorry no but yeah that's that's what i got for the roots but they're going to leave the barrier are, are they going to leave the spots on market street on the other side of the roost there because the ones that are there now for them? Yeah. Yes, for Nourish. Okay. Knowing that Nourish is not necessarily 100% go unless Nourish has submitted something to you that I don't know of. They submitted something to me for tables and chairs out front, but I, I guess I thought that you said that if the roost didn't want them, they would want, would want it. 
um, they were they were going to talk to the roost and to sticks and bricks to see if the roost and sticks and bricks would mind. You had said that they would need to work out some arrangement because they'll be having nourished people in front of the roost. If and I don't know that they've solved for the staff person that'll have to be there, but they were sitting on all of that, waiting to hear back about what happened with the roost. Okay, well, I mean, if the they needed an agreement if the roost and nourish were going to operate in the same spot. Okay. But, I mean, it, it, those spots aren't in front of the roost. Like, they're not in front of, like, their... Oh, it's just slightly up. Okay. Yes. So... Okay. I guess okay. they they had tabled deciding about that when they knew that the roost was talking to you, figuring out something, and they were waiting to hear back about the roost before they made a final decision. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do the staff person sanitizing it that they'll need. Oh, I thought they. I thought you said they committed to that. They did not commit to that. No. I talked about it with them, so they're aware that it's an issue. Okay. But okay. they didn't commit to anything because they didn't know what the roost was going to do, so they weren't going to waste time. Okay, I'll, you know. I'll, I'll call him after this. Okay. Um, okay, so that's where we're at with the roost. We can still see your screen. Yeah, thank oh, you. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I got, I guess. Um, a, a meeting. I don't know when you guys want to meet again. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, if Maine lets us in, um, <laughs> I will not be here from July 8th to the 18th. So it would have to be sometime around then. Unless you can get a quorum with the two others. <laughs> well. So, I mean, there's the, our original date. July 1st. Yeah, that's next. Is that next week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I would say schedule one for the week of the 20th and um, with the understanding that we might have to schedule one before then. Yeah, because it sounds like, aren't we going to have to approve things like if Tai Tai gets information or right but I don't want to set a meeting date yeah. right now because we don't know when when or if she's going to hear back from Eric mm -hmm. and by holding a regular meeting that's just regular business we're not meeting in person correct yes yeah it's the same thing just just not just outdoor dining Okay, so what you're suggesting the week of the 20th? Yeah, Natasha, is that okay with you or? Um, yes. The, yep. the, tw uh, the 22nd, I can't meet between like 2 and 3.30, but otherwise, right now, I think I'm open. Okay, we, I mean, we could do like, or like regular, or we could do the morning. On the 22nd? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even have to be the 22nd. It could be, I just, I just gravitate towards Wednesdays because that's what it usually yeah. is, but. Are there times that would work for Brian? Because I'd like to try and resume some normalcy and if he's gonna join if he's going to remain on the commission, he should be at a meeting. <laughs> I don't mean to like bring it up, but does he, are afternoons better for him than the mornings? I don't know. Okay. Um, then, I mean, let's just schedule it then for when it's convenient. I mean, the reason I scheduled our first meeting the, the beginning of June at 9 a.m. was because he said that the mornings were better. And then he sent that email and it's it just, I, is our historical, or is our usual time of 4 p.m. better for you? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay. It's, I mean, it's whatever works for you guys. 
I mean, I'm here and, working anyway, so. I'm wide open that day at this point. It's far enough out so I can accommodate whatever is best for you and Helen. Yeah, so either four o'clock or morning is fine. Although I will know my term is up this month or next month, so depending on whether I, <laughs> I just got that email. I was like, oh, no. I wouldn't do that to you, Natasha. I know you wouldn't. I wish it wasn't a six-year commitment or whatever ridiculous thing it is, but. You can always resign. Yeah, that's what I, that, I went through that process. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm here through 2024. Yeah, I guess I'd be here through 26. <laughs> wow. If I still live here. Um, just kidding. So anyway, that doesn't answer our question. So I'm fine with either whatever works on that day, either four o'clock or. I mean, do you want me to reach out to Brian and ask him? It might be worthwhile. It, yeah, I mean, we can't we can't continue with two people, the same two people all the time. It's not it's just not tenable, and it's not um, in the spirit of what the commission should be providing. The same two opinions all the time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think if we're, the only reason I brought it up is if we're resuming regular meetings and let's, let's have the full commission resume regular meetings to the best of our ability. And if there is not a time to, to schedule it that accommodates him, then we discuss what that means for the commission. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, you, that's, it's not really a conversation with our council guy. That's really more of a mayor. Yeah. All right, I will ask him and I will get back to you. Yeah, or maybe if you just want to email all of us and just sort of, since, since he's not in on the meeting, for his benefit of knowledge, understanding that we're resuming regular meetings. That this- Yeah, I mean, I'll tell him that. Yeah, that the schedule of weekly meetings is ceasing and we're getting back to normal. And then that might be, it might become more tenable for him to resume attending. Okay. Awesome. Is there anything else, Annie, that you want us to know? Uh, no. No? Then I will make a motion to adjourn this meeting. And I will second that motion. Fabulous. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Thank you so much, Annie. Thank Amy, you. thank you for yeah. sitting and contributing to these meetings. I'm, I'm so enjoying our weekly chats. So <laughs> we're good to see you all. Because we could use you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.